Good evening and welcome back to RimWorld and the RimWorld Trading Company. I'm Modi Apparatus. We're back with our uh, slowly dying colony. Uh, we've got artist, artist is dead on the ground here. Hanging out in uh, Android's room here. We got some mechs twitching on the ground over here. A lot of dead bodies over here. It's not great. It's not going great, guys. The difficulty has been ramped up here. So, uh, it's going to get harder here for the last few episodes. More interesting for sure, too. Uh, with that comes breaks happening much more frequently. Um, illnesses taking hold. Uh, all kinds of different stuff. Extreme breakers for Android here right now. Great. Great. No longer capable of walking. Let me see. You can just walk around finally. Great. They can walk around and be dazed and confused. So, yeah. Um, the, the sad part is... The sad part is, is that we actually have so much food. Everything's like hauled in here. There's nothing sitting over here. For, oh, there's a little bit sitting over here, but not hardly anything sitting over here now. Um, yet we're struggling with everything else now. Stuff that wasn't a problem before now is a problem. Even though we've gotten a lot of stuff solved now. So uh, we were building a casket for our good friend uh, artist here shortly. And face should be working on that here. Tinker's no longer wandering in a psychotic state. Hopefully, eats something quickly. Doesn't collapse on the ground before he does so. Good. Oh, man. So, yeah, episode 80. Man, we've made it. 85 was our goal here. But uh, anything past 80, I think, is pretty good. We've reached our uh, money, as our minor money goal, anyways. We didn't get to the half million or anything like that, so a long ways off. Uh, at this point. I don't quite know, quite know what the best strategy would be to even make more money at this point. Uh, with the difficulty higher, selling isn't going to be as valuable. So we shouldn't sell things. We should, we should craft things. With Artist down, he made his last work here. Oh man, this should be the most valuable thing we have because it was his last work before he died. All of these all of these statues we have, the game should be set up to like automatically like jump up in price now that he's dead. Because most artists aren't appreciated until after they're gone. And uh, their works aren't really sold for a lot until after they're gone. And then once they're gone, they, they get all tons of kinds of uh, auction prices and that kind of thing. Never get to experience it while they're alive, though, unfortunately. Uh, this guy's head's missing. We're always missing heads on all these guys. Dogs eat them and stuff. Andrew's getting tended to. How bad is Andrew doing? Missing right ear. Index finger, shattered ribs, same as before. A couple of bruises. A lot of bruises. And Beast collapsed from exhaustion. Should we rescue him? I don't think he needs to rescue. He just needs to sleep it off here. Which isn't going to help the... Uh, help his food at all. Hopefully he doesn't die from starvation. And now his niece died. His friends died. His, he's just not going to be happy here. Wart rotted away in storage. Oh, good. You know what? The power failing failure has made it so our food here, all of our food now, is going to spoil in one day. What are the odds that this will last for just 25 hours instead of 24 or 13 or whatever it would last before? Uh, we need a passive cooler. I don't think we can research those too easily, though. Do we have it at all? Passive cooler. Okay, we could build that in here. It's not going to help. It's going to be refrigerated. It's better than nothing, though. Uh, temperature, passive cooler. I mean, might as well do it. Can't hurt. Face, can you make up that a priority right now? Just so you can get something in there so it doesn't spoil. I mean, if it's refrigerated, 18 degrees in here is going to kill off the food really, really quickly. If we can bring that down just a little bit. That wart's rotting away. Just extend the time just a little bit here. So this will cool. Expires in four days. Uh, might bring the temperature down. It might not. It's still 20 degrees in there. 18. 18 is pretty temperate for uh in general here it's 28 outside 18 indoors but still i don't know if more coolers would, would bring it down i don't think we can bring it down to freezing though but yeah this this food is all gonna rot away here now I suppose in less than a day all this food's gonna rot away solar flare ending oh good okay so i thought the game's gonna be really really mean to us here power's coming back on cooler will start cooling down again it's already fallen and this is refrigerated now frozen won't spoil all right perfect Oh, turn that into meals so it lasts just a little bit longer. And bulk goods trader passing by. Fantastic. Not that we want to trade too much stuff, but let's see what they have. Some Labradors. 
Uh, I think I think if we want to make some more cash, taming a bunch of animals would probably be a good idea instead of hunting those because we have so much meat right now. So taming a bunch of those those creatures will be good. Uh, right now, because the difficulty is so high, the trade the trade factor is a 0.8 instead of a point like nine we're getting before. It matters. It matters quite a bit. So we won't get as much money for the stuff. The stuff we want to buy is going to be more expensive. They have plasteel. God, it's real expensive. Jeez. What I'd really like to see is a, a mod that lets us customize the difficulty. Because I want the large raids. I want the interesting events and stuff. But I don't want to deal with like the, the mood and the uh, and those kind of things. Do we want to get rid of this masterwork sculpture for some more cash? We only have 2,900 left. Cash has been pretty helpful for boosting the moods of our people around us. Yeah, let's let's get it, I think. Let's sell this guy off first. Don't need a wooden bed. Sell this wooden bed off too. Why not? Um. Yeah, taming animals might be the, the way to go. So we get some cash and get some... I mean, more mouths to feed, but we have infrastructure for that and people for that. Do I need cash or do I need the... Just, I mean, 29 is probably fine. We can, we can hold off. All right. 29 is plenty. We can't buy any, like, you know, fancy extra limbs or anything like that, but... Uh, there's some stuff to tame around here. Nope, the guy's tamed. Oh, he's not. Why does he have a name? He's not tamed? And these guys need to be tamed here. If we tame all these, 0.3% chance. I mean, what are the odds this is going to happen? 1.8% chance. I mean, this is a 1% chance. Or trade beacons down. If we can get somebody to tame all those animals, though, how good, how good would that be? Looks like they might be crafting those mechs into steel here as well. Nope, we're still at 72. We'll get plastic steel from that, though. Here's, here's some stuff here. Actually, 50 more. It's awesome. And prison break. Fleety's running. Prisoner considered guilty for one day. Um, I guess punch him in the face. Who we got? Butcher, you know what you're by? Protect the guns. Frankie, grab a gun if you can. You're not good at much here, are you? Well, don't let him get a gun. I need you to, need to try to defend this. Slow him down, Frankie. Slow him down. Let Butcher get over there so I can slice him up. Butcher's pretty slow. Frankie, get him. Melee attack. There you go. Slow him down. Don't let him get a gun. Don't let him get a gun. You gotta block the door. Yeah, you got a gun. Okay, fine. Now, you want to put you in, now what you gonna do? Here we go. Butcher, get him. Protect Frankie. Don't let Frankie die. Butcher, no, you you get you attack now. Frankie, run. There we go. Oh, but Frank Butcher's on it. Frankie, get some medical treatment, please. If you need it. Not too bad. No immediate danger. Uh, you're undrafted as well. Fifteen hours till death. You sliced open their head with the long sword? Jeez. No wonder went down so easily. All right, capture her, put her back. I mean, yeah. Fleety, get, Fleety takes flight. Oh, too bad we couldn't sell this stuff off. Starvation for who? Beast. Probably should just get you up because you're not getting any sleep down there. Go help the mood out a little bit. Get some joy, maybe. Disturb sleep, starving. That helps a little bit. That's certainly boosting it. Carthasis is helping a ton there. Ah. <sighs> All right, so Fleety, let's get you out of here. Well, yeah. Now we have Melly, still our uh, doctor. I'm not gonna put you that stuff here. Mostly, I just want you clean in here. That's what it'll do. You don't get the nice room now, Fleety. I guess I could see how much the mood is up here. It's at 46. 
I mean, there's a chance we'll recruit every single time. Who's on animals? Beast is. He's a 15. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, go recruit some animals. Those would be good to sell off. We get the bulk goods trader. We can definitely uh, get a fair bit of cash from that. It's more miles to feed, but we really don't have any miles to feed right now at all. There's just nobody left. I still don't know why this guy's named over here. He's originally a tame. 11%. That's pretty good. His skill is pretty good here. Where's he going now? Playing billiards. Well, great. Waste all of our time. Everybody's joy deprived though. They need they need some joy. It's because we had those raids recently, I'm pretty sure, and uh we wouldn't have a chance to go break away to go do anything fun. Face should fix this up though down here first. What are you, are you putting in the thing here? Yeah, well that do that first too, that's important. Then work on the wall here, if you don't mind. You're already doing it. Awesome. Um, yeah, and then we need to take a look at the power here. Power's good. Okay. And it looks like he put the walls in here, which is good. Okay, he's going to do the interior walls awesome. first. That's awesome. Yes. And then what I think we should do is maybe... Uh, I don't know. I was thinking maybe put a turret down in here for those situations where they come in like that. But there really isn't uh, a spot we can put it safely where they're not going to, like, I don't know. As soon as we put a turret in here, they're not going to come in this way. But then again, over here we have the turrets. We have the turrets in the main area here. So it makes sense to put those in here as well. Maybe one right here. So let's build the security turrets. Make sure they can't just snipe it from someplace. Uh, make, it out of, make it out of plastic steel so it's nice. And have it far enough away that it's not going to explode. I guess I could stand over here and snipe it still. But still, I'll put it right there. Maybe think of a better spot for those batteries. I guess I could put it over here maybe. So that way that we have a little more open spots in the middle there. One, two, three. I want to have double walls on it though so that they don't try to bust into it. Because that'll be a serious risk there. Um, cancel this. Like that maybe? Put it as an addition onto this room. So one, two, three, four. So it can go right here, and then we'll still leave room for them to walk through here. That's more than enough room. One, two, three, four, five, six in here. Put some doors in. Uh, not wooden doors. Well, what we should do is actually put wooden doors in there, and then put like a traps in front of them. Put like traps along the side here. Because that the only people that are going to walk through there are going to be enemies. There's no reason reason for anybody else to walk through here. People walk trying to break through those doors will be it. And really, we don't even need, nor, need two doors on there. Um, do we need any door on there? I mean, let let them invite them right in. I don't know. They might set fire to it too, too easily. Two doors, though, I guess, will be fine. Slow down a little bit. So we don't have sandstone for those? I don't know that we do. We'll see. Walls fixed up though. And then we'll uninstall, uninstall these, put these over here. We'll have a nice walkway through here then. We'll move the turret possibly over here then. Maybe move where this is located. Someplace else. Could put it over here maybe. I don't know. I don't want to take up the walkways too much. It's nice and protected in here. I just don't want the turret shooting at it, of course. All right. Andrew's working on that.
Android. I mean, I guess you're missing a hand. So, most of a hand. You're probably not the best person to be working on that, by the way. So, maybe you shouldn't. Let Tinker take care of it if he wants to. Beast, sh Beast should not be taking care of it either. Maybe Melly. Yeah, Melly can work on it. And maybe not even Beast. Or Tinker, rather. Yeah, Tinker's not bad. If he's got nothing else to do, he won't be idle. Tinker's got plenty to do. He's making more blocks for us, which is exactly what we need for the project. So that's really no problem. All right, another night in the books. And pretty slow uh, first part of the video here. Just recovery time. I might want to put some batteries down here and some batteries up here, possibly. I don't have a good spot to put them. I guess I could put them over here. This is going to get really hot, though, because this has got, got all that, that hot air coming out of it. This area is, is on roof still good. I was going to say, this is going to get pretty hot in here, too. This is technically all indoors now. Why not be the best idea? We should probably leave it a little bit outdoors, just so we have, like, a little bit of uh, airflow through here. So where do we put it? Like, right... Like right here, so it doesn't get hot. There we go. Unroofed, okay, yeah, that's perfect. That way it won't change, the temperature won't change too much, but overall there'll be cover for everybody here. It could potentially get hot in there if we don't have air conditioning or anything like that, which we won't. So compared to outdoors, it's the same. It's actually cooler indoors here. For some reason. Don't know why. Do shady do shadier spots matter? I think this is all outdoors here. I don't know. Shade does not seem to matter for the temperature. But here it's 31 degrees because we have all these these things pumping out air into it. If you get too close to those things, it's 101. Alright, Andrew, you should be working on uh Finishing up a research for us. I mean, that's what you should be working on. Are people still restricted? No, everybody's unrestricted. I don't know why Android's... Oh, there, there she goes. Okay. All right, get back to work. As soon as this is done, we can have them put the roof on it. And we can put the batteries over there. Deconstruct this. Fleety the Tactician. Shooting's a 10. That's what we wanted her. Mining's an 8. Definitely wanted for that, too. Perfect. Perfect person to join up. I don't know if she will, though. But we'll find out. Man, the days go so fast when we're, uh... Got nothing going on here. Alright, so we got a couple of the traps put in already. Hopefully they don't set them off accidentally. Don't go that way, please. I would rather they worked on the walls before they worked on this stuff. I guess I should use the slate for the walls, maybe. And that'll that'll fix that problem. Get it done faster. There we go. That should be done now. Right away. And do we have wood still? Yeah, we got a lot of wood. Alright, faces on it. And build a copy of this quick. Right here. And maybe what we should do is put some, put some traps along the wall here. Let's see. Security. Because this is the second time they've come through that same spot. So whatever reason they're drawn to over here. Yeah, step on some of that. They'll, they won't get close enough, probably. And they're not confined with that route there, but we'll see. All right, so that wall is right here. It's roofed. This is unroofed. Why? Oh, that'll do it. Okay, build the roof on there. As soon as possible. 
All right, we got crypto sleep caskets now. Next, uh, we'll do one really expensive one. It's gonna take a while. She's all the way up on it right now, right? She's at the peak, sixteen. So not even peak peak yet. Learn so fast though. All right, so this is roof now. Okay, we're good, and we can start uninstalling these. And make sure they're wired in too. We're gonna put the multiple wires going in through too. Uh, what are they gonna do to that? Oh, she's doing those things first. What about face? Can you do it quick? Work on those, please. He's gotta walk over him to get to the next one. Yeah, just work on one of those conduits so we get some of the power going in. Not that we have a lot of steel now. 18 only. Jeez. There we go. Doesn't look like it's done. All right, let's get it done the next day then. All right, we're back at it again here. Faces needs to fix up this thing right here. Oh, Melly's on it. All right, so that gets us back to full power then, I think. Yes, and then we can reinstall these. Get those installed, please. Where are you going now? Slight deadfall trap. Yeah, work on that in a minute. Just get this done first. We have room to grow in there too. Maybe I'll leave one up here. Yeah. There's potential there's potential for it to blow, but we'll try not to let that happen. How many did we get here? Probably shouldn't have made that second row. There's one there, that's fine. Auto read arm all those. Bring in the weapons. Okay. Successfully tamed a buffalo and another heat wave. Awesome. And it's going to kill very quickly. So if you keep an eye on the heat. Normally in the uh, previous difficulties, we did not really care too much about the heat waves. We had enough AC going around that it was fine. Now it's hard to say. Indoors it here, it's 19. It's pretty average. 21 over here. Set the 21. Set the 19. Heat wave and rain. So it's a very hot rain. Very hot rain. Holy cow. 40, 40 degrees outside. That is, that is a lot. That is a lot. For a rainstorm, that's a hot rain. You know one thing we didn't do yet though? We have actually have Frankie sleeping over here. We could probably give them a double bed now. Not negotiator. Face. Face gets the new room. And negotiator is back on the street. It's kind of weird that you're using somebody else's bed. Uh, we could use this bed. It's a little nicer. Let's do that one. It's been, it's been a little longer since somebody used that one. And they'll get that a little mood back, and we can give we can give negotiator back his bit his room here because he actually does, does use he does use the console in there quite a bit. And then we have an open room here for uh, like beast or someone. 
bat. Yeah, have a nice room there. And you are for nobody. It's a beast. This is uh, for Shaman's old room. We'll put in... Uh, I think Melly can have her own room then. Get the people in the nicer rooms. If we want, we can put Tinker in here. Roof collapse. Really? Okay, you move the battery first at least. But now we have no power connecting anything here. Hold on. Hmm. I guess I never had that connected. Weird. I should have. I should have done that. Major break for Tinker. Tinker needs some clothing again. Our vest again, dude. Come on. Take it off. There we go. All right, more dusters for everyone. Dusters for everyone. We have so much cloth. We need to be cooking. We need to be making stuff with this all the time. Bat's working on it? Okay, yeah. I guess he does. How bad is this chance here now? 1.3% chance to rec recruit, jeez. So the same chance we're counting on for recruitment, uh, we're counting on not happening for these muffalo tamings, basically. Uh, we need to set these muffalo for uh, not anywhere else except that. I set up the wedding spot back over here now. So hopefully uh, Face can take care of that pretty soon. Are we losing power again here? What's the deal? It's refrigerated. It's not cool enough in here. Oh, because of the heat wave. Let's keep an eye on people, actually. Let's take a look and see. No heat wave there. Initial. Not too bad. Just one initial. Good. I think it was for Butcher. Because Butcher is always out in the fields here, so of course he's going to have a little bit higher heat. We got some steel back now. That's pretty cool. Um... I guess we could deconstruct that. I don't know. I want I want this to be nice and covered here. Maybe we should do. Let's do this. Let's go structure. Let's go sandbags and put it through here. We'll deconstruct that one. What I want to do is provide cover for people firing this direction, but not uh not this direction, so they can't use it to cover up to here. They can just stand right here. They'll still get shot by the people up here later. Had an an had animal. Don't see where it's coming from. It'll probably get shot, I'm sure. Let's see if we can find it now. Archive. It's a squirrel coming through where? He's just going to get shot by the turrets here. The fact that he's not chasing is kind of weird. He should be should be following up here. Beast, you better run. Melly can't attack. That was a terrible shot. There you go. Get some treatment. A couple of bites. No immediate danger. Alright. There we go. Fast forward finally. 
The beast just laid down for like two seconds and I was back out. He's not in any immediate danger. Oh, the fire. Oh yeah, put that out. The fire's spreading fast here. Holy cow. I guess it's right on the dry wheat here. Well done. Nice. Yeah, I've never I've never actually harvested Devil Strand here. Fleety is it? Heat stroke extreme. Oh, there's no AC in these rooms. Ew. Should do that. Cause this room's not bad. It's 37 in here. This room's a bit hot. Turn this off for now, save some power and, and some heat. That should help a little bit, maybe. We'll see. Did she just get out? No, oh, she didn't. Okay, good. They moved her. I was going to say, if they let her out, that would just be perfect. We're starting to get there with the animals again. We got four buffalo today. Lots of fire out there, though. Everything's rotting away. Oh, see, we had all that food. And then here comes the heat wave. We lost a lot of meat just now. Like days and days worth. Piece is fully healed. I guess that's good news. Everything's riding away. Not great. Yeah, there's not a lot going on with these guys today here. I mean, it's it's we're waiting for a, a gigantic raid. We're getting these these little piddly events that aren't really mattering to anybody. The heat wave, is it affecting anybody even? Nope. Nope. One. One person. And it's Melly, who's outside a lot too. And might just have a lower tolerance for heat. Some characters do. Um, let's see. 32 degrees is the comfortable temperature. So yeah, everybody's hot. Everybody's hot. Fleety died to heat stroke. It just did not. Gosh, what a waste. Now everyone's going to be mad about Fleety. Oh, because Fleety got stuck in the bad room here. I mean, this is a height as a hot box. It's a hot box because I mean they don't have any vents or anything like that. No windows, you guys. That's inhumane. That's inhumane to do that. You guys just can't throw people in a hot box. No more of that. These are all vented nicely. Heat waves over finally, and there's our relationship raid. We got the daughter, the daughter, butcher's daughter. Butcher's daughter's coming for revenge now. Where are these guys from? Ash apes. All right. So they're coming in hot. We'll have to deal with them next episode. There's a lot of them. Holy cow. All right. We'll see how this plays out next time. It could be our last episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back for another one very, very soon. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time for more. Have a good night.